And fresh from his visit to HP headquarters in Barcelona, we welcome back to the studio Dan Digital. Nice to have you back, Dan. Great to be back, Anna. So how was it? Well, weather-wise, the first few days, warm and sunny, but by the Friday, the wind really No, no, how was the HP centre, Dan? Well, let me put this to you, Anna. Solvents or latex? Undecided. And so was I, until Barcelona. Now, Anna, I know you've had your reservations about digital print, but take a look at this last report. It's quite an eye-opener. Up until this point in my investigations, I'd looked at the superior applications hitting the market, but I was keen to cut to the core of why someone would choose digital over analogue equipment. Take a look at this. So Aya, tell us about the FB7500. The FB7500 is the most productive digital printer in its class. High-end jobs uh, for outdoor and indoor signage uh, and point of sales material were traditionally done on analog de devices for cost perspective. Today, when speeds of digital machines are getting faster and workflow is much faster, it makes more sense to move the, the prints from analog to the digital equipment. That's one awesome machine. And with digital, there's far less pre-press preparation needed. Well, that's easy for you to say. But surely in this market, print service providers are going to stick with analog because of cost benefits. Well, you might think that, Anna. But let's let Aya answer that question. So the market's changing? Absolutely. With the current economical situation, we see that marketing companies' marketing budget is cut and going down and down and down. So PSPs are pushed to deliver more targeted campaigns and more done with shorter runs and variable data printing. And how do we do variable data printing? Let's go and see. Let's have a look. So what we have here, we have one example of the way that we can do variable data printing. You can see here prints that are done, that the text is the same, but the images are different. In order to change the image, we are using the variable data printing software. And what is this machine called? This machine is a TJ8600, and it's a perfect machine for very high productivity and for a complete workflow solution that starts from printing on a roll through cutting up to here that it gets to finished good ready to ship to a customer. It's a pretty amazing piece of equipment. I'm just looking at it and it looks like a, a desktop that's been injected with steroids. You see, before now I thought the personalization of content could only be accomplished via the internet or online media. I was wrong. Variable data printing, or VDP as the cool kids are calling it, is the way forward. So, a successful investigation then? Absolutely, Anna. And you have other projects in the pipeline? I do, but I can't divulge those right now. But watch this space. <laughs> OK, great. Well, that's all for now. Actually, there is one thing. Um, at the airport, there wasn't a lot of choice. I was a bit low on euros. But I did get you this. This uh, snow globe, it depicts the Gaudi Cathedral <laughs> in Barcelona. Well, that's, that's quite something. <laughs> Right, well, thanks for tuning in. I'm Anna Logan. And I'm Dan Digital. And you have been watching FESBA TV. Goodbye.